Welcome back to Sporting Dog Adventures. My name is Paul Cartes from Lakota Retrievers and this week's training tip is obedience. Today we're working with the Nova Scotia Duck Towing Retriever and her name is Hope. She's about a year and a half old. Obedience is the foundation for all your training. It's not just for a gun dog, but it's for a dog for everyday life. Today we're gonna to be working with a standard six foot lead and a slip collar. Some of the biggest problems most people have with the lead is they try to steer the dog and they resist and the dog's just resisting against the lead and you're not getting any type of correction in. Heel. Where a quick little pop of the lead gets a correction. With the quick pop, she's now wanting to avoid that little pop, so she's doing what we want her to do to avoid that negative stimulation. Good girl. You'll notice that I'm using a little bit of negative, but I'm also using a lot of positive and I'm also using a lot of praise. Good girl. She's wanting to work with me and she's not wanting to shy away. You can see she's active, she's happy, sit. She's paying attention to what I want her to do. And it's all from my voice. I'm not needing treats, I'm not needing to bribe her. She's doing what I, I'm asking her to do. She's becoming a teammate of mine. Good girl. You can also start working on her steadiness. Just have her in a sit position, sit. And you just walk around her, sit. Good girl. And eventually you can walk away and, and she should, even when you have resistance against the line, she's not going to move. We're doing all this with the corrections and positive praise. Good girl, what a good girl. You're doing so good. Heel. Remember, keep your training segments short and positive. Now back to the hunt.